What's going on YouTube? Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team Basketball. Today we're going to talk about the spin move. There's a lot of different ways to spin, but I really want to focus on two different spin moves, some of the pros, some of the cons about it, and then I also want to be able to break it down so you guys can be able to understand the two that I'm going to show you. Something you don't want to miss. You already know, man. Let's get it. All right, the first spin I want to break down is, is simply an outside-inside uh, footwork with the spin. So I want you to imagine, it's almost like a jump stop to a certain extent, but I really want to break it down with the detail. So we'll start off with you guys being able to drop, and once I drop, I want to be able to have my dribble step. So first dribble here, and then I'm coming to an outside-inside when I break it down. So I'm going to go here, dribble, drop. I'll take a dribble on my dribble step here, then I'll take another dribble, one, two. Now when I spin, I'm ripping my elbow, around and I'm putting that ball right between my body. Once I put that ball between both feet, I'm gonna have a hand exchange and be able to explode. So first we'll go right into our dribble drop, drop here, pop, one, two, spin down, and now I'll have my exchange. Every time I go to my exchange, I'll just simply retreat and I'll turn back around and then I'll be able to do the same thing on the left-hand side. Drop, spin. Notice when I'm coming in my spin, I'm imagining my defender's cutting me off, cuts me off, jamming me. I'm spinning right off that body every time. A lot of training, especially training on air, you have to be able to see and understand what you're working on. So right after that first dribble, my defender's gonna jam me and start to cut me off. That's where I'm going here. I might take a little contact, and now when I feel that contact, I wanna be able to spin right off of it. And I have that exchange. This hand now is gonna be to protect and I'll explode. So I'll get a couple more reps. You guys can see it. Spin right off. So the first spin we talked about was more of an outside inside, really starting to spin off with my outside foot. This next spin is gonna be more of an inside foot. So you'll see Bradley Bill do this a lot. When defenders guess which side I'm going to, they try to beat me to space. So before that contact really happens, on this dribble step now, I'm naturally spinning off. So it's still gonna be the same concepts. So I wanna make sure I'm really ripping that elbow, but really I'm reacting, I'm seeing my defender beat me to that spot before I really start to attack hard in that right direction. So I'll go here, as soon as I take that first step, I'll see him start to beat, boom, it's right there. Once again, putting the ball down halfway between my body, ripping with that elbow. Drop, boom, it's right there. Once again, drop, boom, it's right there spinning right off of it. Doing it on air is gonna feel a little funny at times, but we gotta make sure we're understanding the concept. Ooh. Starting to freestyle my dribble. Woo, lost it. Stay with it. So those two spins starting off outside, inside, and then being able to see the inside spin. Inside foot, it's more quicker. You gotta be able to have a quick reaction and understand that defensive concept. Outside, inside, coming to our one, two, be able to take a little bit more contact and be able to see the spin. One really good thing about a spin is it's one of the most protected ways to change direction. But one of the cons can also be when I'm spinning for about a second and a half, I'm not seeing what's coming in the opposite direction. So I, there's a couple players that I actually trained that are really good at spins, but one thing that I would do against them is that one, I would add a, a, a one through one press and I would like to trap because I'll say, hey, this guy likes to spin. When he starts going hard one direction, one of his go-to moves is spin and that's what I want that helps or that's when I want that trap to start. So one way to counter that is, make sure we, if you're a really good player who knows how to spin, add just that half spin and go. So once again, the breakdown, I'll drop. I'll still have my dribble step here, boom, one, two. But now when I put the ball down, pop, soon as that foot hits the floor, 
I'm planting and I'm actually gonna go. So especially if that, that guy guarding you, the primary defender is guarding you, he might start to shift, think you're gonna change direction, and that right's gonna open right back up. When getting that half spin, try to get that chin to shoulder, really helps sell the move. Quick, once that defender lifts, is ready to change direction, that's a great time when to fake that spin. Boom. So that right there is a great way to have a counter to that spin once again, because that helps our defender or the defender is coming to trap. As you're starting to go here, now you're almost spinning into the double team. And for that split second, you can't see that help side or that uh, trap guy coming and it's a way for them to steal. So make sure you add that half spin at times, even if it's not coming, it's something you want to have to have in your back. Those right there were two spin moves that I wanted to show you guys today was being able to go to an outside inside spin and then have just that dribble step or inside step and spin. There's plenty of other counters or there's plenty of other spin moves, but I want to give you one counter just being able to have that half spin to understand the defense. Once again, when you move, when you learn a primary move, you want to be able to have at least one to two counters to it just so you're a lot harder to guard. Once again, Steph Curry's to Kyrie Irvin's to Trey Young's. They have one or two moves and they just have counters out of that. If you like today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Also comment what you liked about today's video. Also what you want to see next. We got plenty of heat coming. Coach Marcus Hyde is your right. No man, let's get it.